What's got an edge-to-edge 6.3-inch Super AMOLED display and hopefully won't explode? It's the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, and we're gonna tear it down. If you've ever taken apart the Galaxy S8 or seen us do it, the opening procedure for the Note 8 will look familiar. Heat up the side of the phone, use a suction cup to create a gap, and begin gentle prying with opening picks. We discovered the fingerprint sensor cable was still attached to the motherboard and located along the side of the phone. Good thing we were careful with our opening picks, we could have easily damaged this cable during the opening procedure. It's deja vu all over again as we spy the mid-frame NFC antenna wireless charging coil combo that's held in place by Phillips screws. These components look very similar to the ones that we saw in the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Interestingly, the Note 8 isn't joining the dongle trend we've been seeing lately, and even better, its headphone jack is completely modular. Just remove a Phillips screw and it pries right out. We turned our attention to the motherboard. Several cables and just one Phillips screw hold it in place, and once it's removed, the board lifts right out with modular cameras attached. Facing the front of the phone is both the 8 megapixel f1.7 selfie camera and the iris scanner. And facing the rear, we have Samsung's new dual camera module. With one wide angle and one telephoto camera, both with optical image stabilization, this camera system allows for some pretty cool features, including live focus and dual capture. Over on the motherboard, we find six gigabytes of Samsung-made LPDDR4X SD RAM layered over the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 and 64 gigabytes of also Samsung-made UFS flash storage. If you're looking for more, we've got a complete list of chips we ID'd over on the teardown at ifixit.com. The USB-C port, a component that will receive a lot of wear, is also modular and easy to remove. Last out was the battery, and just like other Galaxy phones, it's glued in place. This battery comes in at 12.71 watt hours, which is actually 6% less than the Note 7's 13.48 watt hour battery, but we all remember what happened there. With our Note 8 completely disassembled, it's time to talk repairability. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 scored a 4 out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, many components, including all those that experience wear, are modular and can be replaced independently. The only screws in this phone are standard Phillips screws. The battery can be replaced, but tough adhesive and a glued-on rear panel make it unnecessarily difficult. But on the downside, all repairs require removing the rear glass panel, which is challenging due to the large amount of adhesive. And finally, replacing the display requires removing the rear glass panel and the display, both of which are fragile and secured with strong adhesive. Head on over to ifixit.com to see the complete teardown, which includes tons of high quality images and some sweet x-rays from our friends over at Creative Electron. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming teardowns. I'll see you next time.